loser. loser. Uh, You're a pop, pop sucker. 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 Slay queen. Is that 30 seconds? Please bring me pizza. I'm ready. Put me in jail. <laughs> Stop dissing the Nazis all the time. The show be both moralists. Dreaming of my next Tucker, watching a wiener, 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 while sucking a smoker. It's all I had to say, oh yeah, gosh. Different perspectives. That bra- oh, a an edit honoring. Okay, <laughs> Brantley of all people, who we love. Yeah, you guys, I came in this morning. Oh, by the way, we're sponsored by Gamersup, who, you know, this beverage, this is the beverage. Yeah, you guys scared the crap out of me this morning when I walked in. I didn't know that these guys were planning to do an Avatar walkout. They said, if I don't go give Avatar a positive review, they are going to be on strike. That's right. We took inspiration from Darman's crew. Uh, We are banding together to fight back against the injustice of all of this unwarranted <coughs> Avatar hate. Cameron was trying to fucking put his little Avatar tendrils on Alfredo. Yeah. He's trying to fuck my dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I trying... know what those tendrils whoa, mean, whoa, bro. Whoa, I know whoa, what they whoa, mean. Whoa, I seen whoa. the first one. Cam mm, was sir. putting on his makeup in front of the mirror, sat down, and his tail was sticking out, and the tail looked like it needed to be there this whole time. Yeah, I feel, I feel so natural with a tail. I need a tail now. <laughs> you, I, I ju- think you need it forever. I just want to say you guys look like idiots. Um, and Zach, you wish <laughs> you were us, bro. Dang. You guys look so stupid, and you should be you're so stupid. ashamed of yourself. You're stupid you, with, what, your, did, with your beige skin. <laughs> Dude, Zach looks like... Devil! <laughs> L plus your white, Zach. <laughs> Zach was just looking at us in the mirror, just hating, just just straight up jealous. Well, dude. he's right. Well, you guys look like idiots. You me. both saw it and did not like. No, I didn't see it. She, Olivia saw it. I refused. I see didn't. It. I didn't hate it. I just am not a huge whale girl. She ran out. With oh, like, you have a whale phobia. It was just. It was time to go as soon as that thing possibly could have come out of the water. It's a tucoon. It's a tucoon. She ran out, she didn't even say bye. I'm like, what, where's Olivia? <laughs> I did, really? I did. How did that was happen? The 3D whale was too It was too big. For you? It was too, too big. big. You have, what did they call that? Lassophobia or something? Fear of ocean and depths and Just monsters? Just big whales. Just big whales. The ocean doesn't scare you. No. Not right. as much as big whales. What about like giant squids and shit like that? Not as much as big whales. Giant sharks. Specific, it's a... The amount of mass that a blue whale has, mm-hmm. it's too much for anything. But they're nice. Isn't that, does that help you at all? It could be nice. It could smile, open its mouth. Okay, I'm inside of it already. I don't think anyone's ever been <laughs> inside of a blue whale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Get that off the screen, you guys. That is oh, the this is such a sweet moment between you and the Tukun. You know what? I was just thinking. I saw AB in his little loincloth stand up and show that. I was like, man, there ain't no way their giant avatar dick ain't flopping around. Look at that. That's it? Just a little loincloth? Well, it's not. It's a fairly long loincloth to be. Yeah, and I know why. Yeah, exactly. Could hang up. You could hang from a tree on that thing. That was just like one of the most shocking things I've ever seen <laughs> in terms of just trying to com- compute. That was weird, man. But good job, you guys. You definitely got me. Thank you. Yeah, we said when you walk in, we're all going to hiss like the avatars, and everyone was quiet, and Lena goes, <sighs> Wait, why I, did y'all I, leave? I did a good hiss. No, you did a good one, but I, just, I, I, I don't know why none of us, we, we bailed on the plan, but I'm, I'm proud of you for keeping with it. Yeah, good for I you. Mean, I mean, we talked about that, and then nobody else did it, so Ethan walked in, and I'm just like, him, but that's okay. I was looking at Lena and I was like, dude, what is her deal? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't even know this. All right. Well, everybody enjoyed Avatar 2. I'm super happy for them. Anyway, a lot to get to. So moving on to Logan Paul figuring out the universe. Oh, good. Finally, we get to talk about Logan Paul. I'm a mother. I mean, listen, if you want to. <laughs> even Logan's into it! <laughs> Actually, blue collar, if we blue collar workers. open up this Logan <laughs> post, it solves all questions that we have. It oh. solves everything, actually. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look. Now, AB's trying to. <laughs> AB's trying to steer the conversation. Thank you. Somebody fucking cares about this show. Thank you, AB. You're Are you right. guys done with Avatar? Uh, I'm completely well, done. I thought you guys didn't mention Avatar 1. 
If yeah, that movie sucked. I love <laughs> Avatar 1. I'm here for Avatar 1. I'm really? Here, um, yeah. I fucking hated the first one. This man is so fucking embarrassing. The, all the controversies, I think, really fucked with him. This dude really thinks he's like a, a beautiful mind or some shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I figured out the universe. Uh huh. This is the kind of cringe that actually gives me physical pain. I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. He has an infinite sign. He says, infinite is a concept, doesn't exist in the natural universe. Off to a great start. That is an asterisk, God. Right. I don't think, I'm not a mathematician, <laughs> but I don't think that that's true. I think it's debated. I, 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 there's a debate as if the universe is infinite or finite. No, but he's not talking about if the infinite, he's just saying infinity as a concept doesn't exist. Well, what does that mean? That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying concept? right off the bat, we're already, I think, a little bit off the rails because it, it definitely does. Well, I think what he means is, does infinite express itself in the natural world? Right. Or is it just something we've thought of in our minds? Okay, well, you're giving him a little bit more credit than me. Well, you know, he's not, he, is a, he is a genius and right. he deserves respect. That's true. He is actually nominated for the Nobel Prize in Mathematics and, and uh, mm. uh, Theoretical Physics. In the Millennium Prize. They won the Nobel Prize. Infinite is a concept. It doesn't exist in the natural universe. Yeah, so that's debated. Actually, you know what's interesting? Lately, the scientists think that the universe is finite. It's not actually infinite, like previously thought. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's theorized that. That may be but the But I mean, it's yeah. like, it's so theoretical. It's like, whatever. Then he goes, sphere circle is the god shape, celestial bodies. That one is a little, uh... How do I say? Schizo. Right. It's like a little- I, I hate to use that word because I don't want to defame uh, our schizophrenic Maybe he's just been playing uh, Destiny, the video game. The Traveler. Maybe I wanted to say it's a little bit psychosis. He, he's experiencing, you know what I mean? Yeah, he was just- he was playing Destiny and he got really high. Are you crazy? <laughs> thought he had <laughs> some sort of revelation here. Sphere or circle is the god shape, celestial bodies. Like, I just, I missed the equation beforehand, where circle could equal God. Like, oh, I think he's God. saying that cele because celestial bodies are all round, mm -hmm. therefore it's divine. Like titties. Like titties, thank Got you. Got it. And <laughs> nipples sure. are round. Oh. Titties are roundish. Oh, shit. You know what's interesting, though? Um... <laughs> A lot of planets are not actually round, perfectly round. They're oblong because of the gravity and spinning. Yeah, I think all. I don't. I don't think they're perfect spheres. They're not. Um, they're yeah. Not at all. Interesting. Yeah. Actually, a lot of them. There's like a, it's more like a golf ball shape with the divots and ridges, and it's more oblong than it's perfectly spherical. Ditch. So That's I don't know if that how that factors into the God equation. Breasts. <laughs> um. Are you guys cringing yet? This is crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean... This is literally like sophomore year of my first joint. I, I, yeah. And then you get sober and read it and go, Dude, that's embarrassing. He didn't, you got, you posted this. It seems a little more like shroomy to, to me than weed, but, but perhaps, perhaps. I have to assume Logan smoked weed before. Right? Yeah, I think he said once that he was, he was smoking a lot. Yeah. This seems like a, like a mushroom trip taken too far. He says, uh, let's see, the universe is likely finite. Okay, we touched on that. that. And contained and spherical. I don't know that it's spherical. I think that's debated. There's lots of theories about the, what the shape of the universe is. It could be like a spider web kind of shape. It could be curved over itself. It being spherical. Even a theory that it's uh, somewhat flat, like a disc. A flat, right. There's just 2D. Yeah. There's a theory that says that everything, the third dimension is just like a projection. So oh. I'm kind of at a uh, Maybe. <laughs> loss for words right now. Yeah, so that 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 is not uh, that is not known. Time equals infinite. So here he contradicts himself. He says, "I didn't actually expect to break this down." <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Time going to following the uh, the shroom logic here. So he says time does not express itself naturally, but then he says time is infinite. So that is. But he's questioning that. 
Is time infinite? Okay. Right. Eventually, all stars will die equals no more light. Okay, heat death of the universe, yes. <laughs> Entropy. That's Got it. deep, bro. Got it. Got it. Did you know that stars will all burn out one day? What? If the universe is contained, has an end, mm -hmm. can we assume apple in a box theory? He's a little too advanced for me. I am not familiar with the apple. I don't know what the fuck's theory. the apple. I'll be honest. I don't know what's the apple in the box theory. The box. Can you get me a yeah? I gotta I gotta familiarize myself here. <clears throat> yeah. Can we get some apple in the box, please? Uh okay. Thank you, Glorious Doof, legend. Uh Katie says I'm also having Wendy's legend. It's yeah. an expression of infinity. It suggests uh, in one iteration that if an apple is left in a box for billions of years, that its fundamental particles would theoretically go through every possible state change and then eventually return to its original state. I'm sure he's super a long enough timeline that theory. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I so the apple. Lines. Oh, somebody said it's that Netflix documentary about infinity. Oh, this is okay. So, uh, that's he sat I, down and watched this. He watched something, and now he's like an expert. Okay, got it, got it. Got it. Now he's like a deep thinker. Right. Okay, so we got an apple in a box. Um, when everything is dead and dust becomes a dense collection of matter because of gravity, black holes everywhere. Okay. Universe essentially collapses in on itself. That is a huge leap. Mm -hmm. That is a huge fucking leap there, bro. Universe essentially collapses in on itself. High density and temperatures, big bang. That I mean, listen. I think it's I think it's interesting that you think you're the first person that thought about this. Obviously, <sighs> what I, I don't want to discourage people from having fun thought experiences. What if he's right? What if he's right? Well, yeah, because he, yeah. well, this was the predominantly, the predominant theory of the universe, the big crunch about, you know, 20 yeah. years ago. I think most, they, most physics, physicists are, it's are out. off that at this point. Yeah, yeah it's but. out. It's a nice thought, though. Mm -hmm. And I like his mini diagram of the apple in the box. Mm -hmm. There it is. There's the apple. Mm -hmm. He did a little like shiny speck on the apple so that it right. Goes There's a light source. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know the uh, the the layout here from a design perspective. I, I don't hate. It's kind of aesthetically oh. pleasing mm -hmm. to look yeah, at the, it, his psychotic ramblings. He's probably going to sell it as an NFT next. Oh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> very Doc Brown. What was that movie? Twenty Two. Remember that with Adam or fucking Jim Carrey. Or he was like psycho, just writing shit. Oh, can you get me a picture of that? Three was it? Twenty three, I think. Yeah, something like that. The number twenty three. I see twenty three everywhere. Right, 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 right. Yeah, the number twenty three. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I want it to be the big, uh, the big crunch, but as far as evidence goes, that's not the predominant theory right now, unfortunately. He goes, the universe. Uh, Black holes are everywhere. Universe collapses on itself. I don't understand how that... Because the black holes are going to be spread out like billions of light years. You left me in a black hole of rage and confusion. Well, it seems that he's not buying into the uh, entropic uh, heat death theory of the universe where everything keeps expanding. and Because if black holes, by their nature, are you know, matter that gets condensed... Yeah. So tightly that it creates a singularity. So for there to be black holes everywhere, it would have to be a crunch type situation that's going on. Well, no, that no, that is the theory is that right. the, at and by the end of the universe there will be black holes everywhere mm. as stars exhaust their fuel and collapse in on themselves. Black holes radiate energy. It's called Hawkins radiations, and they will over the course of trillions of years also evaporate, burn out, right? Yeah, burn out. Uh, so we got a big bang universe repeats itself. Life is a cycle. We become the apple <laughs> again Conclusion nothing matters. Oh, thanks, bro. All that for that. Oh Nothing matters except love had the fuck I didn't a little bit of a leap there not not that I disagree But word how did this come from this theory? <laughs> 
All that matters is love. Aren't you I the guy that. that like just ruined people's life with a dumb this crypto zoo scam? Love, love, love. Cut to Coffeezilla's video. I lost fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> love, love, love. It's I all lost five hundred thousand dollars. I love, baby. And then Logan's like, "Who? What kind of idiot? This guy did crypto scams, and his son invested. Fucking idiot. Love, love, love." <laughs> A force it's of his defense in court. <laughs> He's gonna try to confuse the shit out of the jury. Oh, you think we're laying the seeds for an insanity plea here? Yeah, interesting. <laughs> oh, interesting. also, love is a force of attraction, similar to gravity. Okay. Any questions? I agree with that too. I feel like this has to be something bigger, like an NFT project, like Cam said. I don't think he he made it, honestly. Really? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Nah, I, I think Why it looks would you too post? good. But, but he it thinks... It looks too good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You think that he's like, this is dope, I want to post it and pretend I wrote it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or it's, it's, it's like a merch line or some dumb shit. <laughs> Somebody said, I, this is literally the Netflix doc. The doc ends with love as his conclusion, too. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I really... I think... Took some mushrooms, sat down, watched a trippy documentary... Took some notes. Took some notes. Threw it up on Twitter. I think that's the most likely explanation. Amaranth, friend of the show, had a big party to celebrate her birthday. Mm -hmm. And the crew went there. Mm -hmm. You guys had fun, right? Yeah, for the most part. A lot of fun. Was that your first like LA scene party? Because it was like, it sounds like it was kind of like LA scene-ish. Yeah. Which means like there's just like a lot of yeah, influencers and or models or wannabe models, people who are tagging along, hoping to meet someone famous to pr to advance whatever they're working on, stuff like that. Did you guys get that vibe? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So this was awesome though. XQC was there doing uh, content, and uh, well, just watch. This is great. Um, hey, uh, I'd like to present you guys. Uh, what's your name? AB. AB. What do you do for a living? I work for the A Street Podcast. This is the A Street Podcast. Fuck this guy. Uh, I'm just, I'm just kidding. What's How about you? Man? My name's Cameron. I work for the H3 Podcast. Fuck me, dude. Oh, okay, same guy. Um, anyway, uh, moving on. There's so much uh, porn today. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of porn stars here. This is. Um, yeah, uh, this line, I, I like this. I like this. It's really nice. Uh, maybe one day when I'm comfortable with um, showing my dick. Anyway, um, I love that. Uh, what's your name? Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. What are you for living? H3 Podcast. <laughs> so Jesus awesome. Jesus Um I'm just kidding. Uh, what's your name? I'm Olivia. Olivia, once again, uh, what do you do for living? I work for the H3 podcast. Dude, Jesus so fuck. slay, okay. dude. Got it. <laughs> what about you? What's your name? Lena. Uh, what are you for living? H3 podcast. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm done. Um, That's right, bitch. You better watch your fucking back. We're out there. But I's glad you guys had fun. Yeah, Amrith's super nice. Uh, she's, she's great. She was really sweet. Yeah, here's a list. Um, has kids, that's true. I was with Teddy, putting him to bed. Longest day ever, no babysitter, doesn't leave house social anxiety. Here it is. Let's give this one a try. A carrot! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, I mean, there's a lot to unpack here. Carrot! Give this one Is he joking or serious? He seems very serious. Try. Like, love, you, serious. you know this guy better than anyone. Is he serious yeah. or kidding? Yeah, it's probably serious. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. Does he not... A carrot! <laughs> Why does he say carrot? Carrot! <laughs> hey, he has an accent, just like me. All right, let's watch this video, goddamn. So, Mr. Beast... I... Here it is. Peaceable chocolate. Let's try them and rank them one to six. I'm gonna be completely honest. Totally not biased, because if it sells more, I make more money. I'm gonna be honest, and I hope Jimmy is sitting next to me and not getting his feelings hurt. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll start with now. Once again, I've tried this chocolate. It's as mid as it gets, dude. It's two dollar chocolate. How good could it be? But you know, J uh, Jimmy's like expecting this guy to kiss the ring, like everybody does. With milk chocolate, it's just a milk chocolate bar. Compare it to Hershey's, which 
I know you probably never eat Hershey's because they're terrible. Never met anyone that likes Hershey's. I love that. Compared to Hershey's, the most hated chocolate in the world. <laughs> compared to Not dog shit. Else. I mean, compared to eating some fucking dog shit off the sidewalk, it was pretty good, right? Ten. Yeah. Compared to that, I'd pick it every time. <laughs> and how would you compare that to one? It's a little too sweet. I live with that. It's not bad. Yeah. It is a lot sweeter than what I would like, though. Seven hours. I remember that, that it was way too sweet. Mm. Out of 10. I'll take it. Yeah. We're, we're still figuring it out. That's a good start. A good start spot, though. All right. You know what? Seven out of 10 isn't even like, that's not like that bad. Well, of the rating. thing is, in his world, I think if something's really good, it's going to be in the nine range. Mm -hmm. If it's like in the seven world, I think that's like, I'm not really interested in I'm coming back it. here. Jimmy gets visibly upset already. All different flavors. I honestly think he would have given it a lower rating. Like that's a zero, basically. If he wasn't involved. The seven out of ten is a zero, is what you're saying? I think it's more like a six or a five. But he's being generous. Let's rip up. Alright, here, I got it. Here. Alright, this is our crunch bar. He starts throwing his chocolate. Okay. This is the one you believe in? Yes. It's not crazy, Jamie. No? Uh, you don't like crunch bars? I do like crunch bars, but... Again, it's too sweet. Let me try this. Maybe these are- People are saying seven's oh good for Oh my god, me. this tastes good to me. In the chat. I don't know, every time I've seen one of his, when he's really loves something, he's like 9.9, 9.6. 9 mm. Yeah. He doesn't like it. I mean, he, it's, he's not promoting this chocolate. If you watch this, I'm not going to the store and buying that shit. He's like, it's too sweet. Seven. I'm not buying beast, beast <laughs> bars. <laughs> Wait, we supposed to be ranking them. I rated the first one. So we going completely off of oh, well, We're going completely off of We're in too deep. I rate this a 10 out of 10. I give this an 11 out of 10. 7.2 out of 10. This is amazing. This is better than the milk chocolate. For sure. I'm totally not biased. <laughs> it's better than my chocolate. What do I put this at? I don't know. I don't even know. I wish I would hear interesting enough. Do you like dark chocolate? <laughs> There's some part of me that's like, I'm so used to the being all paranoid about sh the dogs getting food off the ground now. That when he threw I that. I keep thinking, now? like, I hope there's not a dog in there. <laughs> better pick that up. It's probably barely no uh, cocoa in that chocolate, I bet. <laughs> that's true. Chocolate? Yes, I love dark chocolate. Try this bad one. Yeah. This is the same thing, but dark chocolate. What'd you say, Ron? That's my favorite. My cameraman's favorite. This is your favorite? Keep in mind, only five ingredients. Infinitely healthier for you than the normal thing out there. Also my favorite so far. Okay. Yeah, Ron got good taste. Okay, hold on. Here's the thing. This, cl really this claim is... I don't even think he can make this claim. Like, this might be some violation. That That is not true. It's infinitely healthier for you than the normal thing out there. I don't even know what the f what are you talking about? Infinitely healthier than what? Than anything out there. I would call that uh, <laughs> false advertising. <laughs> like I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Why? It's, he it's healthier than salad, dude. <laughs> like some, some Papa John's level marketing right there. <laughs> There's obviously a shit ton of sugar in it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as I understand it, the more cocoa there is, the healthier it is. Cocoa has a lot of health benefits, actually. Really? Yeah, it's very, very, very healthy. There's been studies huh. um, published about the, the positive effects of cocoa. So the more, the better. <clears throat> What's this? We got their ingredients? If you scroll down, yeah, maybe it just that it's organic. Organic? It's the bottom. Six simple ingredients. Cane sugar. Cocoa butter, chocolate liqueur, milk, vanilla powder, and puffed rice. Okay. Milk. It's another type of milk. I never understood why people advertise candy as healthy. Like, the well, whole point with candy is it's not supposed to be healthy, right? So true, so dude. Sh sugar. A, I feel like that's a uniquely American thing. Yeah, it's, it's very odd. I've never heard that in Sweden. It's like, exactly. This is the healthy chocolate. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Also my favorite so far. Okay, yeah, Rohan got good taste. Here's the thing. I didn't realize you were a dark chocolate guy. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not a super dark chocolate guy. I do love dark chocolate, but I'm more of a in the middle sweet. I don't like super sweet. Yeah. And the milk chocolate was super sweet for me, but this is perfect sugar level. It is bitter because again, I like dark chocolate. So I get us a 7.8 out of 10. Okay, so I'm starting to understand this, yeah, man. Okay, okay. Item. I'm starting so, to figure this man out. Then, like uh, oh, of course. You're gonna like this one, right? You like salt? You I love salt. The sea salt guy. I just, I'm gonna get rid of these. I love salt. Wait, no, you, I want the no, chocolate. No, you just don't, you, this, trust me. You you this like, you're a dark- he's, he's angry, right? Like I'm not, I don't think I'm yeah. reading into it. I've never seen him like this. I think he's hiding it as shtick. Yeah, there's chaos happening. But he's genuinely angry. Dark chocolate kind of guy. Yes, okay. if, I, I can read the room. The room is red. Okay, Jimmy. Not crazy, but it is good. I love that. And when you compare it to Hershey's? Not crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, well, of course, when you compare it to Hershey's. Obviously, there's going to be artisan chocolate that's like infinitely better. Not even artisan. I mean, shit. There's some name brands that are delicious. I agree. I agree. You know, you are so right. I'm going to slam this chair. Hershey's sucks. I give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. That's. I'll take it. You know, I wasn't expecting to get higher than a six. It is a lot better than I was expecting. He's trying to save it. Agreed. I'm happy. Same. This is my favorite one. Yeah. I'm very happy. The sea salt chocolate. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day. Can I flip Have the table to end it? By the way, this is his kid's chair and table. That's like the lore. And so Jimmy's like destroying his kid's shit out of anger. I got all the feastable chocolates. That's Triumph. And Pretty wild, eh? <laughs> very. Oh, and I've got the Eddie dude from TikTok. This mm. guy rules. <clears throat> I found this video on TikTok, and this is why I was so devastated when I got banned. Um, cause my feed got all fucked up, and I don't find videos like this. You didn't find them. All right, I gotta defend my Eddie, algorithm. Wait, hold on. It says, it says. <laughs> okay, the only reason I say that because I don't know what I put in there and whatnot. I got, I got a backstory too. With your shirt off. Eddie. What are you doing in a Walmart with your shirt off? Put your shirt back on. Hey, yes, I love being in a Walmart with my shirt off. I've lost 16 pounds and I look great, so I love being here, shopping here for shoes with my shirt off. So, I'm assuming the way he does this is he approaches strangers and I, he goes, Yo, I'm going to need you to ask me, Eddie, where's your shirt? Because he does this all over America, and I will say, he does have a, an well, interestingly sure comp compelling body. Like it's hairless. It looks good. It looks real good. Good enough to snack on. Shit. Rate it one through ten. Beat compared to Beast Bar, how's it taste? He's on a weight like loss journey 2. right now. So all of his videos are like that. It's it's really cool. Here is he back in Walmart. I'd love to get him to call in. I gotta know why. Hey, he's Ed, shy, what are dude. you doing in Walmart with your he's shirt shy? off? Put your I mean, shirt back on, Ed. But I love having my shirt on. This is what I do. I take my shirt off when I'm in the Walmart. I love it. Look, I've lost 14 pounds in just six days. Is this so hey. interesting? Like, such an interesting niche. It's very specific. <laughs> And the way he get <laughs> recruits people, I wondered if he has a technique where he'll be like, hey, can you do me a favor and say, hey, Eddie, where's your shirt? And then when they leave, he takes the shirt off and shoots it so he doesn't freak them out. I think he makes them film it, though. The people that... No, yeah. you think he rides solo? Yeah, because you can see in some of them that they'll, they'll talk back to him and like, is that, is that good? Is that good, Eddie? So that, that is interesting. That adds even a new layer of weird... That's why I contact him, too, to try and like... Get his thought process. I'd but. love to see you in one of these, Cam. I'm trying hey, to make you happy. What are you doing out here with your shirt off? Put your shirt back on. Yeah, I'm looking at these classic cars while I have my shirt off. It's freezing out here, but I love to be shirtless with my classic car. Eddie. Is this incredible or what? <laughs> this... He's tucking his food in an interesting way, too. Yeah, you he's is, he's trying doing? to keep his pants yeah. up. Yeah. And I noticed that as well. Because that fupa would have hung above the pants usually, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So, tucked... Well, that's where his belly button is, so it's right, way up yeah. there. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's very actually it's actually very um it's actually comp very complimentary. His body looks interesting. Yeah. And not in a bad way. Does he shave? How is he so hairless? True. Yeah, I didn't even note that. Is he just naturally Some hairless? People are king? naturally like that. I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I wish I was a hairless king. Twink status. <laughs> uh, here he is once again. In the rain. Eddie, what are you doing? Hey, Eddie, what are you doing here with your shirt off? You got to put your shirt back on. Yes, I love being shirtless here out here in the beautiful sunshine with my shirt off. It rained, but I love being out here with my shirt off. Yeah, but I love getting a suntan in this? Southern California. We're laid back <laughs> so, here. It's so dumb. Oh, yeah, it's cloudy outside. Oh, well. Okay. Love that a little walk off, too. <laughs> By the way, this video has 1,800 <laughs> likes, so we're pretty early to the Eddie, shirtless Eddie train. I, I got to say, though, uh, a lot of people in our chat seem to be familiar. They all got very excited when we brought up Eddie, so. Really? Yeah, it's out there. I mean, he it's has 40,000 followers, and all these videos have, like, three digit, like, you know what I mean? Like, 300. Does he have super viral ones? He has 2.2 million likes total if you scroll up. So he definitely has at least a few virals, I think. This one is tw 27,000 views. Hey, Eddie. Really proud of you for losing weight, buddy. Oh, that's hey, it. Eddie, really wow. That's <laughs> <laughs> I love the aborted second take there. That seemed really sincere. <laughs> I'm really proud of you for losing weight, too, bud. I'm trying to find one that has... Here, this one has 25,000. I mean... Eddie! What are you doing without your shirt on? Whoa. Bro, his ringtone <laughs> went off while he's filming. It's awesome. That's fantastic. Put your shirt back on. Oh, I know where that is. Okay, I hope that works. <laughs> ah! Eddie, this one's iconic. What are you doing without your shirt on? Put your shirt back on. Okay, okay I baby. hope that worked. Let's see. Eddie. <laughs> I love the... <laughs> Dude, this is high level shit. And TikTok makes this kind of stuff possible. This man would never find an audience. I would not be watching these hey, videos if it wasn't for TikTok. You can't be in Target with your shirt off. Oh, yes, I can. Look at me now, buddy. I've got my shirt off in the Target. Look at me now, buddy. 85,000 hey, likes. So this is his big viral hit. Yes, he can. I like that. A little combative. Yeah, he's a little hey, spicier you than you. Can't be in one. Target with your shirt off. Oh yes, I can. Look at me now, buddy. I've got my shirt off in the Target. Okay, King. Hey, you can't be. That's right. Stick it to the man. I love that. <laughs> oh, here's another viral Eddie thing. This one has 170 thousand hey, likes. Hey, why don't you put a shirt on? You're in the CVS, and it's raining outside. <laughs> yeah, but I like being in a CVS with my shirt off. That's the whole point. I oh, know. come on, Ed. It's raining, Ed. Oh, it's she too did cold. film it. Okay, I'll put my shirt back on. Can Thank I, you. Thank you. Make an observation here. <laughs> How does he get these people to film this? No, she was she was into it. That yeah. seemed genuine. She's either a good actress or she was actually upset about that. Um, can you can you pause it when it's showing Eddie? Sure. Yeah, I suspect it is some kind of fetish thing. Oh, too. come on, Ed. But. Still great. What do you like here, Dan? He doesn't have a belly button. No, well, his pants are really high. That's what we were discussing. Yeah, he does. He That's just what I he, he pulls them up higher than it looks like. What? And he tucks the fupa in. He That's a tummy pan. tummy tuck right there. Yeah. Like, in, you know how when you're wearing a dress shirt, you tuck the flaps in? Yeah, but the anatomy but he, but of that is just, like, not adding up to me. Oh, he's it's got low he, hang. He's got a low yeah. hang belly button. Well, he has a lot of low. skin, too. He probably lost a lot of weight. It was probably, like, expanded before, but then it shrunk, and it... Huh. This one has... He's stretched out a little bit. This one has 2.2 million views, so this one is international. You're in a Walmart with your shirt off. Put your shirt back on it. This is a Walmart. Yeah, but I love oh, being at Walmart is. with my shirt off. I look <laughs> great. It's way down or, there. Or he's like Kyle XY status. Yeah, I would, <laughs> exactly. No, he's, he's, he's grown he's a in clone. a bat. Yeah. He wasn't born exactly. from a human womb. Yeah. He's tucked <laughs> it in because you would see 
you would see there's some kind of cliff there, you know what I mean, on the yeah. bottom of the fupa? Which I would do the same. I, I tuck it in, too, if I, you know what I mean, any chance I get. Damn, that's a low belly button, though. This sounds like someone else who's filming it. Listen. Ed, what are you doing in a Walmart with your shirt off? Put your shirt back on, Ed. This is a Walmart. Yeah, go. yeah but I love That was a wall- man. He said, go. So, this was shot separately. Mm. Yeah. Go. yeah, but you I You see love- that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, mm. good catch. Who's that person? Yo, chat saying he was in a Tim and Eric bit, too. Really? Yeah, hold on. Well, I just they, found they it. Mis- I don't know how they find these people, man, because that is just perfection. Craigslist. Let's see if I'm he's. Pretty sure. I'm curious. This one looks like he's just talking. Let's see what this one's like. I'm here on a movie set, and look what I found. There's a movie set, and there's a, what we're doing right now. We're getting the cameras and the lights and the action. So cute. Look at that pretty doggy. So cute. Oh. I'm here on a movie set. Okay, and he's look- wearing a shirt. Before he found his calling. Yeah, let's see what this one is. I can't do that, Eddie. Just mute it. Cam, somebody said it was in one of the purple zone. Uh, I just I just dropped it. You found it? Okay. Is this a, he's losing weight and looking good doing it. My man. Can I I'm probably gonna get claimed for this, but let's try to look at it real fast. Oh, this is him. He has a talking part. That rules. Dealer on a riverboat named Black Sally's Apple. Okay, I can't watch any more than that. <laughs> They use his real name too, Eddie. I think they always do when they get people like him. It's like it's always their real names. Um, the ones that are popular aren't really like the best ones. Ed, totally you... agree. Isn't that interesting? Mm-hmm. Here, look at this one. Get back on. What are you doing out here with your shirt off? This person looks so confused. This one is by far. I just thought I'd have to put my shirt off. I'd have to take it off right now. Ed, put your shirt back on. What are you doing out here with your shirt off? (laughs) Go. But it got so nice and sunny outside, I just thought I'd have to put my shirt off. I'd have to take it off right now. Ed. Really compelling dialogue. I love that he, he just... Marches onward if he if he biffs the line. There's just no second takes. <laughs> it's just raw as it gets. Yeah, and they left him to go. Yep. Just one. Oh, Eddie, what- yo, he found a homie with um, a fellow homie. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. It's powerful. <laughs> I mean, how do I not see it? <laughs> I always was like, man, I know I'm getting fat, but like if I start wearing shirts too small to where your gut hangs out the bottom, that I know, I know, I, I just know that that's not a great look. Yeah. Ela would, not Ela would I, never let that happen. You don't have to worry. You yeah, hopefully not. That. Yeah, man. I knew Ed back from a uh, dead shows, man. <laughs> we, used to, we used to take our shirts off and watch Grateful Dead. Yeah, eat grilled cheese, man. <laughs> Eddie, what are you doing out here with your shirt on? Well, I guess if I, you really want me to take this my shirt off? This is a different off, location okay. entirely. <laughs> He's just like in an alley now. Like what? Okay. Well, I guess if I, you really want me to take my shirt off? Okay, I guess I will. I love to He's take fast. my shirt off. Thanks for asking. Oh, he, t- love- he tucked it. Yeah, he, he adjusts. It. He adjusted well, there. Thanks for asking. You Let's got it. <laughs> wow. To- well, hold on, hold on. Off. I do, I'm just curious about how this adjustment look, look works. Look at that sleight of hand though, man. Yeah. Thanks for asking. I love having my one fast motion. That's yeah. magic. That's sure that is right there. Eddie, what are you doing out here with your? What are you that doing there with half a shirt? Yeah. So there you go. There's Eddie, the man eating and late weight loss. Let's see. How would you like to be able to no, never skip? Oh, I can't do that, Eddie. Sixteen thousand. Look at that cat one. I want to see the cat video. I get people video. complimenting me on my look. You do look less ugly in person. Ever since I joined TikTok, I get people complimenting me on my look. You do look less ugly in person. <laughs> Ever, it's awesome. Man, I'd love to run into this guy. <laughs> Where's the cat one? This one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I had a feeling it was going to be. <laughs> That's beautiful. I want to see a collab <laughs> with him and Wally P. Yeah, now we're talking. Let's do a shirt. Hey, Lena, can you keep an eye on Shredder? I don't know if he's trying to get into. Better. Trouble. Come here. Hey, Ed. 
what are you doing in Walmart with your shirt off? Put your shirt back on, Ed. Ed. But I love having my shirt on. This is what I do. I take my shirt off when I'm in the Walmart. I love it. Look, I've lost 14 pounds in just six days. What? 14 hey. pounds in six days? That ain't healthy. He's sponsored by some drink, I think. Sp That's what it's what? 14 pages! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the one you skipped, he promoted some kind of a weight loss thing, right? Who's, yeah. I mean, no offense, Eddie, but these videos have like 300 views. I think it's like a referral program that anyone can do. Okay, okay. Is my guess. <clears throat> I think he's scared of you, Dan. I saw a TikTok where someone he approached duetted the TikTok he was in, and she said that Eddie says he's doing this for an improv class. Like homework for his improv club? Like fight club? <laughs> this is like a fight club assignment. Go into a Walmart shirtless and make he's, people feel- He's meatloaf. Know. He kind of does look like Robert Paul. Oh yeah, yeah, he does. Totally. I get- Walmart. <clears throat> we- yeah. Oh. I could totally- No way, you got it? Holy fuck. And a drink? Oh my god, Sam. Wham. That's a wham moment Wait, right you, there. Oh my god. And more fries. Oh, oh my mom. Wait, did you get everyone? Mean. Everyone else got theirs too? Oh my god. Let's get some whams in the chat. Holy shit, you guys. That's awesome. Holy fuck. Oh my fucking god, dude. I could totally see this guy like if he Wait. falls into the wrong group, friend, <coughs> friend group. Like blowing up City Hall. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. like I, can, I can definitely see it going that way. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, Eddie, if you're out there, we love here's, you. Sa here's Sam just doing Avatar shit. <laughs> just Avatar things. <laughs> they got Wendy's in Pandora. Dumb man, man underpaying your employees. <laughs> so, Darman, I don't watch his videos. I know that they're apparently some people like them. I don't know who they're like painfully corny. Now, I'll preface this by saying my brother in law does, um, he's a high school teacher and he does one on one like special. I don't know what it is, but he does one-on-one -on -one with, with students. It's some, some kind of special program. And he was telling me, like a month ago, that one of his kids works for Darman. And he was shocked by when, what this kid told him about his working conditions. This Ooh. was a month ago. First hand. Oh. And I was like, wow, that sounds crazy. He was, the kid said that like, um, he has to drive super far. He pays for his own transportation. He pays a minimum wage. There's no like support for him being like an underage. He's under 18. And basically like um, he only does it because he thinks it's like an opportunity. But he basically almost loses money going there and coming back paying for his transportation. Wait, it's for English? It's for people to learn English? I saw a few people in the chat saying that uh that's why like the dialogue is so like slow and kind of like simplistic or whatever i kind of believe that i don't know if that was the original intent but i could definitely see that being used for that you know i would love to see the geographical breakdown then yeah well, but know. yeah the kid was the kid my brother-in-law was like shocked that this huge youtuber was just paying and and this was a child this this kid was under 18 he was in high school and, um, it sounded really bad, right? And, uh, well, it comes out that apparently a lot of his employees have been feeling the same way. According to actors, Darman hasn't been paying them enough money even to pay rent and treats them with disrespect. <laughs> oh, no. Do you it's the food good. I can't look at that. <laughs> I'm talking to the whales like Avatar. <laughs> thank Sincerely, thank you very much. For all the time. Anyway, you're welcome, bud. What? Well, thank you for sharing your story. 
Workers of the world unite. <laughs> but can I? So I watched that whole video last night. Can I, you, would you like me to give? Uh, sure, I just a, watched a short... it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> He's been working on these Darman videos for years. It started out as a small studio. Over time, it's become massively successful. It gets like billions of views all the time. And they've expanded into a giant facility over in Burbank. They have three sound stages, he said. Mm -hmm. And uh, over the course of their massive success, they have not raised what they pay the actors at all in that entire time. And so the actors approached him to ask uh, collectively if they could get a raise because they are not being paid a living wage. Uh, they at first gave them a meeting, but Darman refused to attend. They asked for another meeting and said, we're not going to talk with anybody unless he's here. They said, okay, sure, we'll schedule that. And then instead they were informed their services, well, that, that meeting is not going to happen. That's scummy, dude. Darman, it's just like, dude, you make inspirational videos. Don't be a scumbag. Yeah. Yeah, that's the long The pro The real issue here is the same. It's like employment on YouTube actors. Mm -hmm. are, it's not regulated. There's oh. an actor's guild. There's a there's a union for this that that regulates because... It's so easy to exploit these workers, and it sounds like that's exactly what he's doing. And, you know, it really just underlies a need for some kind of regulation or unions for child actors and actors like and Darman's bullshit. I guess it should be said, SAG uh, does have a digital contract for, like, for content on YouTube and stuff, but I, I think it's barely ever used. Um, uh, but for something on the scale of what they're doing, where, again, because um, they were all outside protesting, I saw where it is. I mean, it's right in the heart of Burbank, giant facility, Here, like bigger the... bigger building than we have. Here's the problem. Uh, with really nice sound stages and everything. It, it's clearly, it's a high-level production they're running over oh, there. Oh, yeah, it looked super high-end yeah. uh, quality. Um, but there's a lot of people there, actually. Yeah, so I think they're they're well within their right to their demand um, to be so at least paid. And I don't know that he live. said what he was being paid, but again, my... He didn't mention it, no. My brother-in-law, he lives in Camarillo, so this kid drives all the way to L.A. That's a ways. And he pays him, like, uh, less than 100 bucks for a day's rate. Yeah, that's outrageous. It's outrageous. <laughs> so, it's just greedy. It's, like, needlessly greedy. Because the dude makes so much money. I mean, he'd have to. Shit, we pay people, like, a f way more than that just for, like... For little gags, yeah, like when we gags. bring in like bit players on the podcast and stuff, we pay significantly more than that. I wouldn't even pay someone a hundred bucks even for a gag. It's almost like insulting. It's not worth their less time. than minimum wage. I mean, usually, I, I guess it just depends on how long of a day it is, but it's not. It's not at all unusual for an actor to need to be on set for 10, 12 hours. That's I mean, it. That was the other part. He did super long days. It was 10, 12 hours. Which is standard. And he would pay him $100. Yeah, that's not standard. <laughs> that part's not standard. Yeah, having extremely long shooting days is very, very common in Hollywood, but, um, but paying them that little, is that's outrageous. And so. apparently also was on like weekdays, so the kid was missing school because he thought it was this great opportunity. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I just decided Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm finally following what he's saying. <laughs> oh, now I get it. Now I get it.